What's up guys? So you did a really awesome thing by getting this product. And what I'm going to do with you now is I'm going to walk you through the steps of how we actually close sales. So there's no mystery. There's no wonder on how to actually make money in a website or an SEO business and stuff like that. I'm going to show you exactly what we do every single day to get there. So the first thing we do is we start by getting our lead generation going. And the way we do this is we have a software called the Ultimate Scraper Pro, and there'll be a link in here somewhere where you can get that too. It's the best thing ever. Um, and here we go. I'm just going to click on it. This thing will pop up. I'm going to click yes. I type in my username. You'll get one of these also whenever you get the Ultimate Scraper Pro. Log in. Okay. And now I come to my dashboard. And what this is, is I'm going to, it's a scraper. So you're going to extract a bunch of leads uh, from Craigslist is where I'm going to look. And by doing that, I'm going to click on Craigslist, click all to select all of the locations. Uh, the number of hours, I'm going to go ahead and just put 150. Um, in the category, I'm going to click gigs. Subcategory will be computer gigs and creative gigs. And in the search, I'm just going to go ahead and type in web. So I'm going to leave that on autopilot. And what that's going to do is it's going to go ahead and extract from the last 150 hours of Craigslist how many people are, are all the people that are looking for web work to be done and it's going to give me their telephone number, their email address, and I'm going to have multiple ways to follow up with them. Now, what, before I close this little video out, one thing you want to do is before we even get into calling them or anything, a really great tactic you want to do is email every single one of these people whenever they uh, come up because what I have is I'm, I'm getting people who have emails and or telephone numbers. So. Um, your first point of contact you want to be uh, an email. So I'm going to select all or however you would do this. You would just go ahead and email them. I hit reply, type in my, e my Gmail address because Gmail lets you blast out the most amount of emails and I'm going to write my message uh, right in here. Now what I like to do for my subject, I'll let you just kind of take a look at it, is I put something along the lines of uh, your job on Craigslist. Right, And then in the message body, I do something that's um, very short, to the point, and doesn't look super generic. So I put something like, hey, I saw, and I don't even capitalize a lot of this stuff, so I make it look more personal. Hey, I saw your ad on Craigslist looking for some web work to be done. Exclamation mark. I can totally help you out with that. Just shoot me a text or a call or call blah 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 your telephone number. I'll put mine. 305-741 what is it? 90-9053. Okay and um, okay so just shoot me a text or call 305-741-9053 and then I'm just gonna go ahead and I would email that message out to every single person and I would probably put um, you know, talk soon, Carlos Redlick. And that's it. Something really short, like a sentence, because most of the people that you're going to be contacting, especially if you've gotten them from Craigslist uh, or other like classified websites like that, they, as soon as they post their ad out, they're getting emails, telephone number or telephone calls galore. I mean, I had somebody tell me they had over a hundred people call the first two or three hours, I forget, two, two and a half or something hours of them actually posting their ad. That's a ridiculous amount of clutter that you're going to have to break through. And one thing you want to keep in mind is you're always trying to burst through noise, right? So there's all these people emailing your prospect, calling your prospect, and they're usually one-time emails, one-time calls, and they're done. And you got to burst through that fucking bubble. And the way you do that is you send them this email, but then what you also do is you follow up. If they don't have their telephone number, you ask for the telephone number and the email. Hey, what's a good number to call you at so I can iron out all the details? Um, you get that telephone number, and then what you do is you send them a video message. Now, what I like to do is I'll just you know just take your phone, your cell phone, shoot a little video text message, and I'll just shoot one just you know pretending right here. Um, let's say we'll go ahead and do one. I can't do it on this phone. The other phone is over there, but I'll show you what it would look like. Um, let's say this person needs website and SEO needed. Okay, so I'm just going to click on their ad. This is exactly what will happen. Okay, so this person needs a website and SEO, so I would get their telephone number, and then all I would do is say, 
Hey John, this is Carlos Redlick. I just saw your ad on Craigslist looking for some website work to be done. I can definitely do this for you. Just give me like a few of the details that you need done and I'll give you a personal price quote and a deadline on how soon we can uh, get this done for you. So give me a call back or just shoot me a text, whatever's easier. Talk soon. And then be done. And what that does is not only will it break through the noise because no other web designer, no other uh, salesperson is doing that to get business from a client, very few if any. And what that also does is when they actually see you and they're listening to you, it's not like you, they just read an email, they just heard a voicemail, they actually see you, they get to really feel the, the type of person they're hiring. A lot of people like to do business with somebody they've met or talked to and really understand and feel comfortable with, especially when they're going to drop like a thousand, two thousand dollars on your stuff, right? So the way you do that and the way you get super personal is by just doing that quick video and then after you do that you can say something along the lines of, hey, I'm going to give you a call in about 10 minutes, um, just giving you a heads up. Smiley face and you're done. And then you give them a call and you go on from there. But what that does is it actually gives you a lot of references. So you can say, hey, my name's Carlos. I just, call, I just sent you an email and a video text message. Did you get that? Uh, yeah, I got that. Okay, sweet. I was just looking, I was just calling because I saw on Craigslist that you needed a website done. I just want to get a few more details from you if you don't mind so I can really give you a nice price quote and a deadline on how soon we can get this done for you. So if you don't mind, give me a, a few details about your website and then just shut up. Let them say everything they want about what they say and then you just kind of go through it. You say, okay, great. So um, for to do this, 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 and this, and I can do this uh, by doing blah, 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 blah. We can do it for 500 bucks or whatever your quote is, but make sure you just get to it and give them a price quote, give them a deadline, and just be straight up with them. Because a lot of these people are getting, like I said, they're getting called like crazy. And most people who call them say, I'll give you a, a quote on a callback, or I'll call you back, or I'll email you a quote, or, you know, these people want fucking answers now. So get exactly, tell them to spill their, get them to spill their guts, tell you everything they want for their business, for their website, regurgitate that, say yes we can do this, 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 this for you, it'll cost this much, it'll take this much time to do it, you know, how soon would you like to start? And then when they say, oh I'd like to start immediately, great, do you have a card handy? Okay, great, debit or credit? PayPal, would you rather do PayPal? Sweet, no problem, a lot of people like doing that. What's the best email associated with your PayPal? Always be closing, guys. So that's the first video. I have a whole bunch of cool stuff coming up with you. Mike and I are going to be doing some uh, games we like to do where we sell random shit. I would say, hey, Mike, sell me this CD. And um, it's really good warm-up drills to do before calling. So anyway, stay tuned, guys. A whole bunch of kick-ass shit coming up.